As the master trudged along on the way to the crucifixion, he was very weary. He was nearly exhausted. He had had neither food nor water since the last supper at the home of Elijah Mark. Neither had he been permitted to enjoy one moment of sleep. In addition, there had been one hearing right after another, up to the hour of his condemnation, not to mention the abusive scourgings, with their accompanying physical suffering and the loss of blood. Superimposed upon all this was his extreme mental anguish, his acute spiritual tension, and a terrible feeling of human loneliness. Shortly after passing through the gate on the way out of the city, as Jesus staggered on the bearing of the crossbeam, his physical strength momentarily gave way, and he fell beneath the weight of his heavy burden. The soldiers shouted at him and kicked him, but he could not arise. When the captain saw this, knowing what Jesus had already endured, he commanded the soldiers to desist. Then he ordered a passerby, one Simon from Cyrene, to take the crossbeam from Jesus' shoulders and compelled him to carry it the rest of the way to Golgotha. The Urantia Book, paper 187, section 1, paragraph 8.